So the first category this evening for our, oh, let me back that up a little bit. So we're, just to let you know, we're going to do our Miss Woods simultaneously with Miss Woods All-Stars. So what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, their first creative category for Miss Woods, and then we'll do Miss Woods All-Stars, we'll do talent the same way, and then evening gown as well. Okay, so the first one we have this evening is Miss Woods. Queen's Choice, so the Queen's Choice category is chosen by this current year's um, uh, recipient of Miss Woods, that would be Miss Simon, Miss Sapphire Dia Dior, and she chose the category of Greek Goddesses. So the category uh, description is, dressed for the gods, get inspired this year by Greek Goddesses, feeling full of love, show us your best Aphrodite, on the hunt, let your Artemis prowl, Ready to slay? Serve up Athena. Unleash the divine inside of you with a look inspired by the ancient Greek goddesses. All right, so without further ado, we have contestant number one vying for your title of Miss Woods this evening, Este Lauderdale. Estee Lauderdale has been coming to the campground for two years. When asked how to describe her drag character and inspiration to an audience, Estee Lauderdale gives you the wit of Bette Midler combined with the beauty and the grace of Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> She's quick with the punchlines, she writes her own material, and she loves her sisters more than anything. Her hobbies include hosting events both at the woods and in New Hope, and taking late night strolls by the lake. Estee Lauderdale was born at the woods and will continue the tradition of welcoming and guiding new queens as they begin their drag journey. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one, Estee Lauderdale. Your contestant number two in Greek goddesses is Stella du Dior. Dioro, I'm so sorry, Stella Dioro. She says, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm reusing this outfit from a previous engagement. We, sustain, we, we stand a sustainable queen. Every year I have the privilege of performing at Code Red, a fundraiser in Philadelphia that raises money for people who live with AIDS. Last year, two of my sisters from Bingo and I performed a number from Hercules as the Muses. It was such a fun performance and the costume really means something special to me. So I'm excited to wear it again. It's a beautiful purple Grecian gown with coordinating lavender hair. I definitely feel like a goddess in it. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Stella Dior. Your contestant number three in Greek goddesses, Villary Hall. Villary says, I chose Aphrodite. I definitely, I identify with her because of what she represents. Love, beauty, and sexual pleasure. These are the things that drive my drag aesthetic. My love and passion for what I do and the beauty that brings joy to others. As well as the sexual pleasure that brings out the people that I perform. It is kind of that feeling of when you go to the after party and the guy you thought was not into you is on his knees ready for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in Greek Goddess, contestant number three, Villary Hall. Your contestant number four for Greek Goddesses, Gloria Hall. She says, my chosen Greek Goddess is Selene, the goddess of the moon. The gold crescent moon headdress and the gold brocade gown with the long flowing sleeves is a classic Greek design. She carries a glowing orb representing the full moon. You can thank her for all of the full moons you see around the pool and throughout the campground and the full moon craziness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number four in Greek goddesses, Gloria Hall. That was amazing. Give them another round of applause. That was fabulous. 